Hello folks, welcome back to the channel and today we're back in Tesla territory again with a look at some serious alternatives to the aero alloy covers. Now these ones claim not only to protect against curb rash but also to improve efficiency beyond Tesla's own aeros and manage to look good whilst doing so. Pretty bold claims, let's check them out. So you're probably watching this video because you're looking to customize the way your Model 3 wheels look, or maybe you've got some damage to your alloys and you're looking to hide it up and then protect them from further damage. Either way, you're in the right space. We're gonna be taking a look at these orbital wheel covers from Remetrix, or maybe that's Rhyme Tricks. No, it's probably Remetrix because they're to do with rims, aren't they? Yeah, let's go with that. Anyway, we've had our Model 3 for about nine months now, and already these alloys have taken an absolute hammering. Every single wheel has got some kind of damage. Now, I'm willing to take some responsibility here for my driving and my parking, but honestly, this setup is so unforgiving. And it's not like you get any more protective options to choose from when you buy the car. The aero covers that are supplied are designed primarily to maximize efficiency, but there's just no protection for that outer rim of the alloys. So what are your options? Now, my fellow Tesla YouTuber Adam Wellinformed did a great review of these alloy covers from Made. Now these involve taking the arrows off and then adding a kind of armor to the alloy so you can still see the shape without them being exposed to scratches and scuffs from curbs. I've added a link to his video and also to Adam's channel in the description below. Now if you like your Tesla stuff go check him out he produces awesome content. And you know what I was this close to buying those Made covers until I saw this brand pop up in my searches. I was just curious to see what our car might look like if we gave it this kind of all black look and also to test out some of these efficiency claims. So let's get them unboxed first and see what they like to install. Now let's start by popping off these arrows and if you've not taken these off before it's just a case of giving them a really good hard pull and as we can see these are the alloys underneath. Look how much damage this one has taken it looks so much worse without the arrows on. And then let's open up these orbitals. Now these arrived all the way from the USA and were so well packaged. A big thumbs up to the team there for making sure these survive the Atlantic trip in good condition. So let's open these up and see what we've got inside. So first up, we can see there's an envelope with installation instructions on, and you'll see here in big letters, it says, open this first. And inside the envelope here, we've got the rim protection kit. So I've kind of got to install this onto the wheel covers first. And this is to stop the covers once they're on from damaging the kind of gray alloy paint underneath. I think this is a bit of an interesting move. I wonder why these weren't installed in the first place. Anyway, and then we can see we've also got the four center caps that are all bubble wrapped. And then underneath all of these, individually bagged and padded are the wheel covers themselves. Now, if we zoom in, we can see the finish on these is really nice. Now these are made from a PPE polymer alloy, which is high temperature and impact resistant. They're noticeably heavier and thicker than the Tesla Aeros I just took off. So let's get the rim protectors on first. You've got five of these little stickers to add to each rim. And then once that's all done, it's simply a case of lining up the wheel cover with the air pressure thingy and then clipping it on. And our last job, we have to stick on the center cap. Now importantly, these are made to fit these particular covers. So other types of center caps are not gonna work to make sure that these things stay in place. Now if you're absolutely set on having the Tesla logo still on your wheels, you can buy some third party 56 mil decals that you just paste onto these. But I think I'll be keeping these just as they are for now. I think they're really smart and understated. So that's one wheel done. Let's take care of the other three. And let's take a look at the finished product. Did someone say montage? So that was really very straightforward install. The whole thing took me about 15 to 20 minutes from opening the box through to putting the last sensor cap on the last wheel. And I'm just saying Remetrix, if you put the rim protection kit on the alloys first thing, I probably could have had the whole thing done in five minutes. And I've got to say, compared to the standard gray aero covers that come with the Model 3, I think these look super cool. Especially set off against the black paintwork, this all black look 
is really clean and gives the car a kind of stealthy look that I am just obsessed with. What do you reckon? Let me know in the comments if you think they're an improvement. Now before we get into pricing, there is a claim on the manufacturer's website that really drew me in to purchase these covers. And the website says they are very slightly more efficient than the Tesla Aero covers. Now this wasn't replicated when they tried it again the following year. So I'm going to keep an eye on this in my Tesla app and see if I can replicate any of these findings, if we're going to notice any efficiency improvements on long motorway trips or maybe even just day to day city driving. So on to pricing, depending on where you live, these may cost you a little bit extra in terms of shipping and customs, so don't forget to factor that in. But in terms of the retail price, I paid $269 for these, which worked out to about £220 sterling. I then paid a further £75 to cover the shipping and the customs cost when they arrived in the UK. Now that sounds like a lot, and let's be fair, that is a lot of money, but compared to the cost of maybe repairing one, three, four alloys, or maybe even replacing some of these wheels, it's a really a very small amount indeed. And the best thing is, if you damage any of these, the manufacturers allow you to purchase a single wheel cover at a cost of $78, as opposed to having to buy the whole kit of four all over again. Folks, thank you for watching this, and I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, be kind, click the like button, and if you'd like to see more like this, possibly a cheeky subscribe. See you next time. 